Okay, this next item that we're going to be talking about is uh, it's actually a software, a video editing software. It's not like your Premiere Pro or Final Cut. This is uh, something a little different. It's not as uh, standardized as those two big ones, the uh, Premiere Pro and Final Cut. I kind of like the industry standard. This is a good prosumer, I call it, consumer, prosumer type. Professional consumer kind of like a high-end consumer video editing uh, software it's Made by Pinnacle. This is happens to be Pinnacle Studio 20. I think they are 21 now But it's pretty much the same except uh, you know, they've added some features and it has newer codecs the reason I've got this one right here is because Nowadays now that I'm doing 4k stuff this software handles 4K pretty good, and you don't have to have a pretty powerful machine to do it. Software here will kind of pre-render the files into actually what it does, it calls them shadow files, but they're proxies. When you put in 4K footage in this software right here, the computer isn't fast enough to play it, it uh, converts it to MPEG. Standard definition 720 by 480 so it can play it but it preserves the original files in there as 4k the original 4k files so if you know anything about editing and working with proxies it's the same thing and in Final Cut Pro Premiere they call them proxies and what you do is you work with low resolution files do all your edits and then load your original footage in there and then it'll do whatever uh, edits you made on those proxies. It'll apply that to the original footage without having to play them. And uh, which uh, really saves a lot of horsepower on your computer, especially if you have a weak one. Like I said, the reason I bought this one is because it's way cheaper than Premiere Pro or uh, Final Cut. And I'm not saying it's better. But it's a lot more budget conscientious, you know, in that. and it does 4K, and which is uh, pretty good. So uh, anyway, I have it installed on this laptop right here. Let's go ahead and open it up. So uh, we'll do that and uh, see how this thing works. Install it right here. Let's open it. There it's opening. And uh, let's see uh, if we can get like a little closer in on this thing. Just to look at the screen thing here, there we go. And there we go. I should do screenshots, but uh, this will this will this will work for what we're doing right now. Let's open it up. And first of all, it opens up with your library. What we're gonna do, I'll just run through it real quick. We're gonna we're gonna edit. We're gonna edit some footage. So real quick. So there you have all the library so you can go into the editing mode as soon as it switches over here it'll show you how to edit I'll show you the timeline and everything just like just like you would see a timeline on Premiere Pro or any one of these other programs there's your timeline right there say let's let, let's let's stick some footage in there let's see if I could find something in there real quick I, there we go Let's see. So yeah, let's stick this footage in here. See what happens. So I just stuck a little bit, just just a, a short a short clip here of some footage. And uh, let me see if it plays. There it is, right there. This happens to be a, a studio shot that that I did with with some people when I, when I was working in the studio. And what's cool about this too is you can make the the video is bigger, everything's scalable, all the windows are scalable. We can play this and you know and it won't play that much right now because uh, it's 4k footage. Like I said it has to do the proxies. Uh, let's see, oh because that's a JPEG, that's a still actually. So let's look at a uh, Let's look at some actual video. See if I have some video here. So we'll bring some video in. Let's bring some video in here. So we'll go to my library. 
So we're going to drag that in. Okay. We're going to drag this red carpet in. Uh, actually, let's see. Let's pick something better. I don't know what this is. We will find out. Let's bring this in. So there it is. It's bringing it in. So there it is. So it's actually some footage of some road footage. Let's bring it and put this on the timeline. There we go. We have it on the timeline there. There we have it on the timeline. And we don't need this one. You can combine pictures, you know, just stills like this first one in video in there. So let's get rid of that one. Hit your delete button and it takes it out of there. So here's uh, here's some video, some road video. Some 4K video. And as you can see, this, this green line here, this yellow line, or amber, it's actually amber, it's starting to turn green. And when it turns green, that means that it's that it's done your proxy file and you know it's, it's converted it since this computer isn't that fast it's converted it to a format that this computer can play so even though it's 4k footage it's converting it right now uh, footage that this computer can play regular standard definition so this converted this this video right here just for editing purposes. It converted it to uh, to uh, standard definition so you can edit it. So see now I should be able to play it, and there it is. You can see the video going right there, and that's pretty cool. And this is 4K video, so and this computer is, is not that strong. So it, as you can see, it plays it pretty good. So it does all the other things that most editing programs were. Like I said. This is a timeline. Let me raise this up so we can look at the uh, focus on the timeline right here. So that's the timeline, and you can do all you can do more than one track. Export it, export it in all kinds of different flavors. So uh, which is pretty good. So and you have your tabs right up here. Let's see what these export uh, export tabs uh, tell us. So we go into this first export tab just to look at it real quick and see what what we have as far as export what. Uh, what flavors of uh, video we can export, or what different kinds of videos uh, we can export? We can export in. As you can see, this computer is pretty slow, but it's still playing this footage, you know, pretty good because it's uh, it's converted this 4K footage right here to standard definition. But when you output, it doesn't have to be very, you know. So right here, there's your output modes right here. So you can see all kinds of different output modes over there. Let me see if I can get it even a little closer to here so you we can see a little bit of this these output modes here. There we go. And we can see these output modes here and it's got MPEG4, you got uh, the Sony um, XAVC 4K video, it's got MPEG-4 video, MPEG-1, it's got MOV video, which is uh, QuickTime. So let's see, let's look at this MPEG-4, see? And then within that MPEG-4, there's all kinds of categories. There's the 4K Ultra, there's HD, and there's the regular, there's another flavor of HD, 720p, and then there's the standard resolution, which is 720 by 480. So you got three things right here. Or you can also go into the custom mode here, hit the advanced tab, and you can play around with the settings, whatever settings you want. So it does have like a manual setting, which is pretty cool. So uh, anyway, that's a quick run through on this, on this software. And again, it's uh, Pinnacle Studio 20, and it does a pretty good job of editing and, and running your 4K video. That's the important thing. It'll do 4K video at an economical price and on a, on a system or on a computer system that's not that powerful. There you have it. Thanks a lot.